I keep on telling you guys, Manando is not a goat. That is a snake and he keeps on changing his snake skin depending on the environment that he's in. Before going any further, I'd like to send a huge shout out to Quazy Trade. Guys, use the link in my description to check out Quazy Trade today. They are one of the first brokers that was ODP regulated with the FCA. And as you guys may know, regulations is a big, big deal. Use the link in my descriptions, find an appropriate account type for you, open an account and trade with Quazy Trade today. Please don't forget to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Leave your comments in the comment section. Please do share this around. And if you're new here, I welcome you. Please do smash that subscribe button now it's very clear we are talking about Manando today and I can myself with my own experience attest to the fact that this guy is a huge snake he's a snake of note not only as he pretended to be my friend turn around and bite me there's also a whole lot of other traders whom he pretended to be friends with and when the time came he put them ain't nobody got time for that now a snake is forever just gonna be a snake doesn't matter how much good you do unto them eventually they will turn on you and this is the case of someone that dealt with him recently and they saw the real side to Manando. <laughs> now, whenever I'm warning you guys, please understand that there are merits to these warnings. And at this point, it is really pathetic to be disingenuous over a 250 rand. I'm going to take you guys into the chats and you guys will see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm also going to be showing you guys uh, proof of payment because you most definitely know without proof of payment, it's almost like nothing happened. Okay, so coming into our first piece of evidence, the screenshot here, and it reads Manando the Goat. Um, it's a status of his, and he says, I need three people to become an NBA mentor. I will mentor you. So obviously, he's looking for mentors, and that is that is just super funny because I do not know what kind of a claim he has to think that he can mentor people, to train other people, when there's some people that's complaining about him. So this person then asks him, how much is the deal? He didn't respond. That was the 16th of October, 2022. On the 31st of October, 2022, Manando posted four people with 250 rand hit me up. Now, why is it four people? Maybe is it because he quickly needed 1,000 rand to sort something out? And unfortunately, this is a client that saw a quick way to get money and it became a problem. So he said, I'm in. Manando told him, let's group fund. I got two now. He says, 250, sure, bring the details. Even be Capitec. He then gave his Capitec details. And as you guys can see, the number was given. And then over here, this is where this client then shows. But listen, this is where this money left my account. So I paid you and I'm going to need my service. Now, before we go to any other screenshots, this 250 was for a group fund, meaning these these 4250 rands was to go into the same account, trade it the same, and when the profits get dispersed, it gets dispersed in equal portions. Stop it. Get some help. We understand what the 250 is for now, no? Moving along, as you guys can see, trouble has come along. Voice notes were sent. This guy see a question marks. And I always tell you guys, the question marks, you guys always sending too late. But he sends question marks, voice notes were exchanged. And Manando then quickly pops off to say, I'm saying don't text me like a bitch. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. And that is a response, obviously, to one of the voice notes that Manando was sending. And I can obviously guess what was said in there because this bro looks kind of sad. So he then sent Manando a message. Manando, can you please refund me? Because I see there is nothing happening here. So at this point, Manando then sends him an account and he says, I will send passwords. But according to Willy Boy, this bro gave Willy fake uh, login details so Willie couldn't see anything for shit so if you move right along you can see Willie's now sending his details my bro this is my capital details I can't just give you money for nothing man I need it back and at this point disingenuously this bro is asking what was that for now why did you send him an account and proceed to say I will send you passwords when you are now asking him what was that for <laughs> Ha 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 ha! 
You serious? When you move along, you can see this bride saying, Yay, I want my money. Please refund me. And then Manando saying, Love out loud, young man. Tell trading up to post your screenshot. Now, this is once again, I, like I've won trading up. This is why I do not have friends in this industry. I have acquaintances. I have people I know, sure. But I do not have friends in this industry because check how Manando is hiding behind trading hub now and we know trading hub exposes everyone so at some point Manando is gonna have to stop this of throwing his hand and then or rather throwing rocks and then hiding his hand behind trading hubs back because eventually um it's gonna get old right so eventually this man is saying um still you being in my group you're now sending me nonsense come on and then he says go to trading or your boy Rydal. now the reason why he says your boy Rydal, this uh client right is a tracker so this man is in and out of cape town one day in cape town one day in joburg because of the loads that he is carrying between uh, the places the provinces right and um, one day, one of my friends that I've been friends with for many years now rocked up and he introduced me to this guy, right? To Willy Boy. And this is why Manando is saying, um, go to your boy Rydal, which is so disingenuous and condescending because this kind of shows you guys that they don't care about being exposed anymore. So I'm really going to need you guys to pay attention and to stop supporting them like for real so now willy boy sends a voice note he says don't record i won't type i won't listen type to which he then eventually listens and then he says when you're broke don't do that bye to which um willy boy then says don't tell me shit because i will make your life difficult i know everything about you since you've been bragging on the media that was a bad move don't tell me about the fucking group that was not a deal so i think manando wanted to put him in a deal and he didn't want that and i wouldn't want that either because according to me i paid for group funding so where's my profits or where's my 250 give my 250 back this is what i want you guys to notice isn't this manando the goat isn't this manando that has the these fancy cars that was driving a BMW the other day. Isn't this Manando that was driving a new Polo from the showroom floor the other day, but he can't even send a 250 Rand back? You guys are going to need to open your eyes. So he says, know anything about me? To which this brother then says, your dog, your friends, your sister. And obviously, you guys know, I don't agree to threats because there's better ways of sorting this out. But I can't police how victims respond. And like I told you guys you guys are gonna get hurt like i recently got hold of a story and it's still fresh i'm not gonna break the news because that boy's parents are probably still reeling from his death he took five thousand something from people he couldn't give their profits he couldn't give their money back because he ate that money and then they killed him this is a trader that was on the come up um he was still on school i believe so this guy was influenced by what NAS 100 Ape is busy doing. And haven't I told you guys this like last year already that what NAS 100 Ape is doing is so detrimental because other school children are seeing this and they're gonna want to emulate that and look where that is getting them. Back to the story. So as you guys can see, um, it's the 16th of February, which was just the other day, and Manando phoned him to try and like sort this out. But obviously, eesh, it's a problem. And yeah, like I told you guys, the uh, uh, um, proof of payment, 250 beneficiary name Nando's, and he sent this to Manando asking, when are you going to pay me back? Now, I totally understand to some of you guys, it may seem like I'm just blowing hot steam, but at the end of the day, if I paid you 250 Rand to do a certain task that you advertised, by the way, I never asked for that specific thing. It was a case of you were there, you were advertising the opportunity, and I took it, and now you are failing me. It's either I'm going to want my profits or I'm going to want my money back. And at this point, I'm going to need you guys to realize that he didn't complete what he said he was going to do the group funding thing Willy boy doesn't even have proof that that 250 rand was deposited into a trading account so that is why i am totally saying even that screenshot of um, that trading account that 
proves nothing i'm really gonna need you guys to steer away from investments and account management for a while because it clearly seems like these guys that's doing it they aren't taking care of y'all and at the end of the day you guys are the only ones that's paying if you feel mananda was wrong with what he did please leave a comment in the comment section i most definitely want to hear from you guys if you like this video and came this far please do smash the like button please do subscribe if you are new here and then share it around so that your friends can see this as well thank you so much for the support guys i really appreciate it shout out to crazy trade once again link is in my bio please do go and check them out and i almost definitely see you guys in the next video and spoiler alert we'll be talking about tenders in the next video